DJMLA back on the scene, giving you a lesson I hope you'll glean. People have trouble writing to their mama. Gotta learn better how to use a comma. Yo, 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 folks, DJ MLA back with you on this theatrical Thursday. Lessons you can use sporting the OC Lions and the magic and hopefully sporting how to use a comma correctly. That's right, folks. People mess up commas all the time. I don't care if you're in culinary arts, engineering, science, English. You got to be writing sometimes and you got to be punctuating correctly. Today, we're going to learn when to use a comma in front of that conjunction and, A-N-D, when to use it and when not. Come on, yo, let's get started. Here we have two sentences that are nearly identical, but they're different in a very important way. In our first sentence, we have Beth and Sharon. That's our subject. And what did they do? They went, that's our verb, to the movies and went, that's our other verb, to the soccer game. Now, Beth and Sharon is the only subject that we have. So went to the movies and went to the soccer game, share that subject, Beth and Sharon. Because of that, we do not put a comma in front of the word and. We do not put a comma in front of the word movies because it's called a dependent clause, dependent on the subject. In the second example, we have Beth and Sharon went to the movies, and this time, and they subject went to the soccer game. We have two sentences, if you will, two independent clauses, because there's a subject and a verb and a subject and a verb, and that's why we put the comma in front of the word and. You must have a comma in front of the word and anytime you have a subject and verb followed by another subject and verb and the word and. 